Hey guys, it's Kimberly, and today's video is going to be me trying out something that I have never ever done before, and I'm going to try cream contouring for the first time. I know I've talked about it before that I really wanted to give it a shot, and I showed in my Ulta haul video that I picked up the KKW Beauty Cream Contour and Highlight Set and the brush that she makes to go with it. So I just figured that that would be super fun and that we would give it a shot here since I've never cream contoured. I might as well try like a whole kit and caboodle thing. And I know a lot of people use this when it first came out and people were talking about it and whatnot. So I just figured I'd give it a shot and it would be fun to do here today. So I have my foundation already on. I primed, I did foundation, I did concealer and that's it i didn't powder so like obviously i feel like that makes sense right i don't know if you guys have any tips for me down below definitely leave them because like i said this is not something i've ever done before so i'm sure it might not go that great but that's fine so first things first let's just open these right up i have the kkw beauty cream and contour cream contour and highlight set in the shade light hopefully that's good so it comes with these two little like sticks. We have the light contour and the light highlighter and it looks like they're both double ended. So they're just like these twist up crayons. I will say the one thing is there is like, that is it twisted all the way up and not used. That is like nothing. There is not much product in these crayons at all. So I guess we have a lighter and a darker shade. And then we have the highlight stick right here, which is same thing. It is double ended. Yep, so we got those two shades right there. This one's like really pearly and yellow, and this one's like a little more like beige. So that's interesting. I guess let's just swatch them and see what they look like. So on the top we have light one, and on the bottom we have light two. Light two is definitely shimmery, and light one is not. It's just like, I don't know, like a highlight stick, I guess, but the other one is shimmery. I just said that, I don't know why I'm talking like that. Let's swatch the two contour shades. And I literally did not watch a video on this at all. I just figured mm, it'll be more entertaining if I just wing it. <laughs> and you guys can tell me what I'm doing right and what I'm doing wrong in the comments below. So those don't look too different. Uh, light one and then light two. Light two is a little bit darker, but nothing crazy. So I guess we'll start with light one because it's better to start lighter than too dark, um, I guess. And let's see the brush. So I'm actually looking at this and it says concealer brush two. I don't know why. Um, I was fairly positive that this was the little brush for this set. They were like together on the shelf, but I don't know, we're gonna try it out. If it's not, it's not, I don't know. But it's this little brush. It actually feels really nice and soft, and I like this. And then as a sponge applicator on the other side, this just seems like very much so not my gig. I do have a Beauty Blender, well, like a Morphe sponge here too, because I was thinking maybe I'll do one side with the brush, one side with the blender, see what I like more, but I, I don't know about this. We'll use the sponge on the back of my hand, actually. See how that feels. Um, actually, actually I did a pretty good job. And the brush. Yeah, okay, well, I don't know. So like I said, I didn't really watch a video. I'm just kind of winging it. So I'm gonna go in with the light one shade. And obviously I'm gonna do contour here, right? I think she did like a three in one of her videos or something. I think I saw the video that Kim did when it first like launched, but that was a very long time ago. Um, and like I said, I don't cream contour, so it's not something that I really like bothered watching. So yeah, I mean, this is where I would contour though. So I'll do that. And we're just gonna do one side at a time because I really don't know how this is gonna go. So I'm gonna go in with the brush and just kind of, I don't know, work it out, I guess. Ooh. Okay. I will say in the camera, it looks really intense, but in person, 
it looks like it disappeared. So I don't really know what the deal is with that, but I will say it blends like very, it's very creamy. So it doesn't take a lot to blend it. It doesn't feel like at least. Hmm. Yeah, this is actually in really interesting because in the camera, it looks like I just have this big old block of brown on my face. And in person, I literally cannot see it at all. Like it doesn't even look like it's on my face anymore, which is so weird. And so I really don't know what to think about that because I don't like the way it looks in the camera. But in person, it literally looks like I haven't bronzed yet. So I, I don't really know. Let's do the other side with the beauty sponge and see if I like the way that that looks better. I don't know. So I'm gonna go back in, same shade, light one. Okay. And now I've got my damp beauty sponge and I'm just gonna pounce. Oh no, I don't like this. Oh, uh, actually maybe. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Wow, I'm telling you guys, this looks so intense in the camera and it is literally not visible in person. I literally can't see it. Like obviously I can still see this because I didn't blend it out, but this doesn't even look like it's there at all in person. It actually looks nice in person. I mean, maybe a hint of something, but it really barely even looks like it's there. But I would not want to wear this to take like important photos because in the camera. Well, I guess when I look straight on, it looks all right. But when I turn my head sideways, I feel like it just looks like a big old square of darkness, which is so weird. I feel like the sponge got it a little bit better than this. Let's see if I go over it with the sponge on this side now. Mm, I don't know if that made a difference. I'm not sure. Actually, okay, so I know I look crazy on the camera, at least in the viewfinder, I think I look crazy. Um, but I'm going to try, oh my gosh, since I didn't say anything, my 11s, what? Okay, I'm gonna try and go in with light too and just kind of like deepen up in here. I don't know if this is a good idea or a bad idea, but just a little something for the video. Why not have fun, right? Why not try new things? It's literally like 9.30 at night. I'm not going anywhere, so who cares? I'm gonna go back in with the brush, maybe? Maybe? Okay, so now I'm starting to see something in person and I kind of like the way it looks in person. Honestly, that looks pretty. Um, I don't think this brush is honestly anything revolutionary. I hate this. It, it just feels weird and it feels like I could rip it off. Um, I don't think the sponge is bad. I just feel like it's annoying because this is so short and I'm hitting it and I feel like I'm gonna rip it off. Um, I don't think the brush is bad. I don't think it's anything revolutionary though. Um, but I do kind of like having it because I feel like I can use this brush for cream contour and I'll always know that that's what I'm using it for. Um, that way I don't mistakenly, I won't ever put like try to apply something else with this. So I mean, there's that, but I don't think it's anything revolutionary. Okay, I actually am starting to like that a little bit. I could maybe potentially see the appeal to this. Okay, so I like to put a little bronzer under my lip. So let's see if that's easy to do. A little bit there. Yeah. I actually really like it for that. I feel like sometimes the powders, I don't know. It looks dry under the lip and I don't want that. So I actually really do like the way that that looks. I've always wanted to be able to contour my nose, but I stink at it, like hardcore stink at it. Um, so let's do it. I'm just gonna run a little bit of light one. Yeah, see like, I don't know how you draw a straight line. I'm clearly not that talented. 
Like I can't draw straight lines, so I feel like I just end up making my nose look like broken or something. <laughs> something absolutely terrible. Um, mm, is that what I want to do? I don't know what I want to do. Um, honestly, on my nose, I feel like that just took my foundation off. So that's great. Yeah, it totally just like left red lines down the side of my nose, like red like it took the foundation completely off, which is weird because I didn't have that happen on my cheeks. And not, I haven't powdered anything, so it should all kind of be the same, but I don't know. Um, I don't know. Let's try the highlight side of this. So we're gonna go in with highlight one, which is like not the shimmery one. And I don't know, like, put some in the middle of my forehead, I guess. I put concealer on, so like, I already did. Yeah, like, I don't like the way that this drags on my under eye. I feel like that's too sensitive, sensitive of an area, but maybe like, I don't know, for this part of my face. I feel like my nose is just a lost cause, but I'll try anyway. So I'm just gonna do the beauty blender because now the brush is dirty and the beauty blender is dirty too, but I know what side I used, so. I don't like this. <laughs> it is not blending as easy. The highlight shade definitely does not blend nearly as easy as the contour shade does. So there's that. Yeah, look, I just, can you see that I have like a big red spot here? Because I was literally pouncing so hard to try and blend this in that it just took off all my foundation. Love that. That looks terrible. Okay, so let's go in with light two and just keep on going. Might as well try it all out. And this is shimmery, so I'm gonna use this like as like a real highlighter, right? Oh my god. And I'm just gonna put it where I normally put my highlighter. And I'm actually just gonna dab this out with my finger because I feel like you don't want to take too much of this off because this is supposed to be like, you know, shimmer shimmer. Wow, everything looks so awful in the camera. Honestly, like I'm not digging any of the highlight that we did um, in person, but the contour looks fine in person. Um, I don't like the highlight per se, but it looks so much worse on the camera. I feel like I'm looking in the viewfinder and I look crazy. What happened? Okay. Regroup, Kimberly. I don't really think I like it. <laughs> I never miss negative, so I feel kind of bad, but I don't really like this. This is like, eh, it's whatever. The sponge is weird. This is fine, but it's just a brush. The contour looks nice in person, but it looks crazy on camera. The highlighter looks kind of just crazy everywhere. I don't know that I would really ever use this. I will say I love the way the cream contour looks under my, under my lip. But do I want to pull this out just to do my under lip contour? I don't know. That seems like excessive. Anyway, I'm going to set my face and put a little on the eyes and the lips and the whatever, and I will be right back so that we can see what it looks like after a little bit of setting powder and whatnot, and I will give you my final thoughts, so I'll be right back. All right, so I put on a little blush, I put on setting powder, lips, I put on a little mascara and some eyeshadows, so I just kind of finished out the face so that you guys would see what it looked like once it was powdered. I feel like getting blush definitely did make things look a little less crazy, but... I don't know, man. I don't know if it's really for me. I'm I'm gonna give it a couple more tries because this was definitely like, you know, the first time I've ever tried this. So I feel like that's not really a fair shot. So I, I will give it another try. And if any of you guys have any tips or tricks, if you guys enjoy cream contour, then definitely let me know. Or if there's a different product out there that you think is way better than this and then I should give it a try, let me know. I also just got this in my Ipsy. If you guys have seen, this is another cream contour product. It's from Tresique, so I might give this one a shot, see how that is. I don't know, I'm not like sold on it at all, but I'm not really like, I will never do this again. So we'll see. I feel like I'm just kinda like 
eh about it. But yeah, I powdered the face. I wanted you guys to be able to see what it looked like powdered. And now I'm gonna give myself a little spritz of setting spray because that also makes a difference. That way you guys can see my makeup in both ways, all the ways. I want you guys to be able to see which, what we did here, if we really did anything here. But yeah, I feel like it's all right. Eh, not my thing. But anyway, I had fun filming the video and trying it out and I'm always down to try new things. Like I said, I'm not gonna give up quite yet. I just feel like I'm not as happy as I hope to be. I'm not as excited as I hope to be. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.